Hello and welcome to this educational video series. In this video series, we will be dealing in detail about a particular medical condition called as multiple sclerosis or MS for short. This is a neurological disorder that is commonly seen in India. This series is spread over several episodes which will deal with the introduction, symptoms, treatment and other aspects of this disease. In the first episode, let us get introduced to this topic and also learn about the symptoms of the disease. Come, let us meet our expert. Multiple sclerosis is also called as MS in short. It's a demyelinating disorder. So when I mean demyelinating disorder, it's like the nerves of our body they are, we can simulate it as an electric wire which we have in our house. So this electric wire has a plastic insulation. Just like that, even our nerves have insulation which we call it as myelin. So in MS, it is lost in multiple different parts, either in the brain or the eye and the spinal cord and that is multiple sclerosis. As I said, because the nerves are lost, the myelin is lost at different places. So depending on where it is lost, we get the symptoms. It is lost in the eyes, we have visual dysfunction, that is difficulty in seeing objects. If it is in the brain, depending on which part of the brain is affected, we may have difficulty in walking, talking or even balancing our body when we are trying to walk. And sometimes when it affects the spinal cord, we may have difficulty in moving our upper limb or lower limb or there may also be difficulty in passing urine or motion. So depending on where the nerve is affected, that is the myelin is lost, depending on that we get the symptoms. And it is not that the first symptom is always from a same place, it won't start like that. It can be anywhere in any of these three regions. The disease usually starts as an attack. So when I mean an attack, basically it is like patient is having some symptoms either affecting any of the three regions. So once they get an attack, it may just be there for few days to weeks and it may just go away or they may be giving, given some medications because of which they improve. This is called as a relapsing form of MS. But sometimes what happens is it goes into the next phase of illness which is called as a progressive form and that is a time when either depending on whether the treatment is started or not, it keeps on increasing gradually day by day. Yes, MS has almost nearly four different subtypes. So as I said, it may just start as an attack. That attack may last for few days to weeks when it is called as relapsing type of MS. Relapsing means it comes and it goes away. That is the reason it is called as relapsing form of MS. But sometimes what happens, it goes into a progressive form. Progressive form means every day the accumulation of disability. That means the symptoms keep on increasing with or without medications. And if this disability starts at the onset itself, it is called as primary progressive MS. This is the second type which is found in 15% of the patients. The other is a secondary progressive MS where the progressive form starts after few years of relapsing form of MS. So these are the three main different types. In this itself, there is one more subtype which we call it as a progressive relapsing MS which we do not use it that much nowadays. No. Some patient may just come when the optic nerve is affected, that is the eyes are affected, they may just come with blurring of eyes or difficulty in seeing objects. They may not be exhibiting features when it is affecting the other parts of the brain or the spinal cord. But some people may just come with balancing of difficulty, that time that means there is a, a part of the brain which is in the hind brain which we call which is affected which may causing the balance problem. So it is not that all patients will be exhibiting all the symptoms at the same time. As I said, depending on where the myelin is lost, because this is a patchy myelin loss, depending on that, the symptoms will be there. Mm -hmm. 
No, MS is definitely not fatal. In fact, I always tell my patients that even if you're diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, do not lose hope because there are a lot of medications available presently which can make your symptoms better and keep you almost normal. But because you have become normal with medications, don't procrastinate. That is, don't become very uh, careless and stop the medications. That is the time that your symptoms start progressing and you start developing side effects because we may have to use a higher medications which may have a lot of side effects and these side effects of the medications may sometimes cause some infections or some other complications which may make you fatal and that is less than 0.005%. Otherwise, definitely MS is not fatal. This concludes the first episode in our series on multiple sclerosis. This episode dealt with the introduction and symptoms of the disease. We will be back with our next episode. Namaste.